And you're right. I started, you were serving the greatest generation and, uh, you know, read the book. And we actually developed training on the greatest generation to, to teach the staff. You may not realize this, but this is the people that started Little League and they, they did, did this and they did that. And they're just great people. And they never asked to be thanked for all these things and tried to give them a sense of who they're serving. And you're right. Now you kind of come out of that group towards the baby boomers. And so knowing they have different expectations, you know, we're developing still. So we talk a lot to our teams and, you know, it's funny, it, I'm a certain age and most everybody on the team is about my age, but we all think we're young, you know, so we're not ready for this, but we try to think what we would like in 10 or 20 years. And, you know, when we built way back when there was no such thing as Wi-Fi. you know, there's just so many things now, you know, we're doing a job now and, and uh, the cable company wants to do a long-term contract. Go, Who says they're going to be watching cable in five years? There, there's something else that may be out there that no one's doing. And so you just, you know, I've been in this long time, so you don't want to get stuck in a rut. And you know, this is the way we've always done it. You know, you can't be like that. You got to, and what you do too is there's so much information like these podcasts. There's so many things out there now that get your hands on that can spark you to go, oh, wow, I never thought about this. This is cool. And so I would like to read all the industry information that's out there and try to be creative. And now it's interesting about the workforce. You know, we're all, we're all facing that challenge. That's, and that's tough, you know, especially when you're the financial guy. You know, well, you know, we're just going to have to raise everybody up to $15 an hour. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, it's not how it works, but maybe it is how it works. So we're really having to work through all those things. And how do you pass it on to the resident? And, and you have competition, that, you know, some some locations, you can't just raise the rates. And so it's challenging times. And uh, But I think it's fun. But, but you know, um, my mom lived at a location for seven years and she passed away last April, but you kind of get a feel you're there a lot, what they like, what they don't like. And, and so you learn a lot from the residents too. And so, I don't know, it's just, it, it's always evolving and it's never boring. And I'm, I'm, I, I can see me doing this for a long time. I mean, I, I, I'm older, but I don't think I'm young. So I don't see me retiring anytime soon. So I think it's fun doing this and figuring these things out.